channel if you are new don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell below before we start for today's video meron na naman tayo mga bagong makeup na susubukan ito ay mga korean brands from karis and excited na din ako i-try sila kasi hindi ko pa sila talaga natatry sa face ko or na-apply sa face ko kaya if you want to see me how i use this please keep on watching so, umpisahan natin, of course, dito sa concealer. Sa face ko, wala pa akong ibang nilalagay maliban sa primer and kilay para naman hindi tayo masyadong maputla. This concealer is from A Concept Triple Full Cover. Masahin muna natin yung mga claims na nandito sa product. It says here, a creamy, soft, textured, high coverage formula that delivers all day wear with just one touch. Featuring three shades combinations with an assortment of color correctors and concealer. It harmonized to target every skin tone and create a flawless skin. Wow, gusto ko yan. Gusto ko yung flawless skin. Actually, sweetheart's first time ko palang makakatry ng mga ganito, yung color corrector. Kasi ako, personally, ang gamit ko lang talaga yung mga creamy concealer lang talaga, yung regular concealer para ma-hide yung dark circles and yung mga blemishes sa face ko. The actual packaging looks like this. I won't go into details na sa mga makeup na to kasi I know that will just bore you out. Kaya, diretso na tayo sa pag apply sa face para masubukan natin kung okay nga sila. This is how the actual product looks looks like, ayan, kung makikita nyo dito sa baba, yung green is for blush cover, peach is for dark spots cover, and then yung skin is for blemish cover. I think this one, one shade lang siya. So, let's see if this one will match my skin tone. Pag nag-apply ako ng makeup, I usually start with foundation. But since we are going to test the concealer, uunahin natin siyang gamitin. It says here na yung green is for blush cover. So, I will be using my fingers lang to apply on my face. Very creamy talaga siya. I'll just apply here. Hindi ako sure kung tama ba yung pinaglalagyan ko kasi this is actually my first time to use correctors na ganitong klase. Sana okay yung kalabasan niya. And then this one, yung peach, we are going to use this to cover our dark spots naman. Siyempre, dito yan sa ating mga pinagpuyatan. Lagay tayo dyan. In fairness, madali lang siyang i-apply using the fingers. Let's see kung madali rin siyang i-blend using the sponge or a brush. And then this one naman, yung skin shade, we are going to use this to cover our blemishes daw. And yung mga blemishes natin, ang mga marka ng mga sumpa, ng mga acne marks, pimple marks, ganun. Mga pinagmarkahan ng pigsa. Nagka-pigsa kayo sa mukha. Yan, marami ako niyan dito sa baba. Ito, sa noo, maglagay din tayo. I-blend na natin siya. On this side, I'll be using a damp sponge. And then, on this side, I'll be using a concealer buffer. Unahin ko to ating green na concealer. Yung texture niya, it's thick but not too heavy. Siyempre, pag ganitong cream, di ba? Let's expect na medyo tacky talaga siya sa feeling or medyo tacky siya sa face. But I'm excited sa claims niya na it's full coverage daw. And it will make your skin flawless or look flawless. Hmm, so far... Dito pa lang yung nabiblend ko. Parang medium to full coverage nga siya. Natakpan niya na yung redness ng face ko. And then, blend na rin natin tong ating under eye or dark circles. So, i-blend lang natin siya ng mabuti para mag-set mag siya sa face. And then, huwag natin kalimutan itong ating leads. Uy, in fairness ha, ang flawless nga niya tignan. Ayan o, no? kung makikita nyo. Unlike dito kasi kanina, di ba? kita pa yung mga blemishes natin. Try naman natin tong kabila using a concealer buffer or a brush. Parang pwede na rin siyang gawing foundation no? kasi ang ganda oh. Parang ito lang pwede ka na lumabas. Try naman natin itong i-blend using a brush. Medyo mahirap siyang i-blend kasi you really have to work it in para mag-set siya ng maayos sa face. Unlike kasi yung damp sponge, diba? Parang natutulungan niya talaga or mas napapabilis niya yung pag-blend ng concealer sa face. Pero this one parang ang hirap. Pero try pa rin natin para ma-compare. Using a brush, ang napansin ko, hindi siya masyado nag-iiwan ng lines. Yun nga lang, visible na patchy talaga sa, sa face. Makikita mo na meron kang kulay peach dito, tapos dito may green. So, I think hindi mag-work kung gagamit ako ng brush. So, let's just use a damp sponge na lang to finish our face. There, so we're done with our concealer using this triple full cover. I really like it. Ang ganda niya, sweethearts. As you can see, it's medium to full coverage kasi for me, medyo nakikita pa yung mga acne scars ko or yung mga pimple marks sa face, especially dito sa baba. And what I love about the concealer is that 
Ang tagal nyo nang nasa face ko, pero hindi siya nag-crease or hindi siya nagsaset sa lines ng aking mga under eye. Ayan, kung makikita nyo. It dries down to a matte finish, which is really good. And it really does give you that flawless or skin-like effect sa face. We still have other products here to try from Karis, but let me just apply first my foundation, my contour, and my blush. Then, I'll get back to you after my face is done. Hey, sweethearts! I'm back. So, ayun, nakapag-foundation na ako, contour and blush. And yung ginamit ko na foundation is this one, yung Moonshot. Ito yung favorite ko na cushion ngayon. I am in the shade 201. Ayan, yung Moonshot Micro Setting Fit Cushion. Ang ganda nito, sweetheart. I really love it. Try nyo din kasi ito yung Holy Grail Cushion ko as of the moment. Uy, tapos alam nyo ba? Ang ganda nung concealer. No joke, guys. Ang ganda niya kasi nagustuhan ko dahil nung tina-apply ko yung cushion sa face ko. Hindi ako nahirapan sa pag-apply ng foundation. Kumbaga, hindi siya nag-patchy, hindi siya nag-move. So far, nagustuhan ko. Uulit-ulitin ko gamitin to. For sure yan. Let's now proceed with the eyeshadow. This one is the One Shot Eye Palette. This is from Chica E. Chico in the shade Day Drink. So, ganito yung mga colors na pinili ko. Parang earth colors lang siya. Pwedeng magamit everyday. Sa office, sa work, or even sa school. It says here from Matte to Shimmer Glitter. One Shot Shadow Palette for Young Makeup with Addictive Colors. Let's be drunken on color. And then, dito sa likod, meron din siyang kung ano yung shade. Which is good kasi hindi tayo malilito. Hindi natin makakalimutan kung ano yung shade na nilagay natin. Apply gently on eye area with finger or makeup brush. May other shades pa nitong kanilang eyeshadow. Check nyo na lang sa Karis. I'll be putting them on the description box below kung interested kayo. And meron siyang cover and then the usual packaging. I really like the packaging kasi sobrang travel friendly niya. Kasyang-kasya to sa kikay kit nyo for sure. Even ako kahit sa mga wristlet ko, kasya to. Let me give you some swatch. So, try natin tong this one, yung Vodka Espresso. This is the Vodka Espresso. When applied dito sa ating arms, it's not too pigmented and yung color payoff niya, hindi siya ganun ka-popping. Uh, let's try this. Kalua. Did I pronounce it right? So, kasi yung ginawa ko dito, one swipe lang eh. There. So, this one, yan, pigmented naman siya and the payoff is good. Then, try naman natin yung mga shimmer shades try this one in the shade Bacardi. Yan. Let's start applying on our eyes kasi syempre hindi tayo pwede mag-base diba sa arms or sa swatches lang kasi iba pa rin pagka using a brush or finger in applying our eyeshadow. I'll use this shade Malibu, this one, as my base. Very smooth yung texture niya, sweethearts, and it's not powdery, which is good. Kasi hindi nasasayang yung product ng mismo eyeshadow, di ba? Then, I'm going to use this shade Kalua as my transition shade. Oops! Medyo powdery tong Kalua. Tingnan nyo. Ayan siya. And then, when I top it, yan. Kita nyo ba yun? I'll just apply it on the outer corner of my lid and then blend it pa loob. In fairness naman pala sa kanya, ayan no, pag in-apply nyo siya using a brush sa eye lid, it's pigmented. Hindi siya mahirap i-apply. Hindi kayo mahihirapan na nagpa-patchy siya sa eyes nyo. Next up, I'm going to use this shade, Cognac, to deepen our crease. So, medyo glitter dito, sweethearts. Ayan, hindi siya matte. Then, I'm going to use this shade, Vodka Espresso, to intensify our eye lid. So, balik lang tayo dun sa ating ginamit na transition shade kanina. And then, apply natin siya dito. There. So, when you're done already, let's try using this shade. Yan, yung champagne. Sa ating inner corner and then sa middle ng ating lid. Wow! Ang pigmented polo nitong champagne. We're done with the eyeshadow. This is the final look. Surprisingly, it's pigmented and very easy to blend. Yung color payoff niya, hindi nga lang ganun ka-popping, but it's really good. It works well on me. Nagustuhan ko yung kinalabasan. Actually, parang first time ko lang makakreate ng ganitong look. 
I don't know kung mabibigyan ko siya ng justice dito sa camera ko kasi parang hindi nyo siya makita ng maayos. Pero sa personal, I really like it. From this one, nakakagawa ka na ng look na very simple to glam look kasi it's very neutral and earth colors yung meron sa shades na to. Now, let's proceed with the eyeliner. This is also from Chica Ichiko One Kill Eyeliner. This is in the shade black. I think dalawang shade ang meron sila, brown and black. The product claim, it says here na it's waterproof liquid eyeliner that creates a clean line in one steady sweep. It keeps liner last longer without smudge. So, shake well before use. This is how the actual product looks like. They're parang regular eyeliner din siya and then when you open it, there, meron nga siyang sharp and tapered precision brush tip. Let's try at the back of my hand. Mm. Ang ganda nung mismong tip niya kasi talagang makakreate ka ng kahit sobrang nitis lang, de ba? And what I've noticed is that hindi siya nag-bleed. It's really black. Ang ganda. I like it. Excited na akong try sa eyes ko. So, let's try na i-rub. Oh, bongga o oh, saglit lang, di ba? Kaka-apply lang natin. Hindi siya basa. Tapos natuyo siya agad. Ako personally, I don't know kung sa inyo rin. What I consider in an eyeliner is that hindi siya nag-bleed at saka waterproof siya. Now, let's try applying it on my eyes. Lapit ako na onte for you to see. So, medyo nahirapan ako kasi pag nag- Pag nag-eyeliner ako, halos hindi ako huminga. Huwag lang siyang magalaw kasi struggle is real sa eyeliner. Shake well nga pala. Kaya parang walang lumalabas. Ba't ganun? Sa unang apply, parang walang lumalabas. Oh my God, what happened? Sana naman hindi siya natuyo. So pag in-apply ko, medyo nawawala na talaga siya. Parang inuubusan ng tinta. So, I'm very sorry guys ha kung hindi ko na mapapakita sa inyo na maayos tong one kill eyeliner kasi talagang parang natuyo siya or what. Ayaw lumabas ng mismong product or yung mismong product yung may problema. But, I'll be using another eyeliner na lang to finish my look. So, I'll get back to you after my eyes is done. Okay? Ayan, so we're done with our eyes. I already put an eyeliner. Pero, unfortunately, hindi na natin ginamit si Chica Ichiko. So, I use another eyeliner instead. And, I already put my eyelashes. Ayan. Hindi na ako nag-contact lens with hearts kasi medyo pagod yung mata ko. So, skip na natin yun. So, now let's proceed with the lipstick they sent me. We have here yung Signal Velvet Lip Master with Me. So, this is in the shade 04 Romantic Signal. There. This is how it looks like. And it says here on the claim that it's a matte type lip tint that keeps a soft velvety mousse texture lighter and lighter on your lips for a long time. The actual product looks like this. So, para siyang bullet type, di ba natatanggalin yung cup. Pero, screw type yung kanyang packaging. There. And then, it has a doe foot applicator na sobrang laki. Or, hindi man sobra. Parang unusual lang sa regular type na doe foot applicator. And then, yan. Nakabend yung kanyang applicator. Let me give you my swatch. Again, this is in the shade Romantic Signal 04. Sobrang thin at soft nung texture niya. Pag in mo siya, para siyang gloss. Pero parang ang bilis niyang mag-dry up. Ayan, nagda-dry na siya unti-unti. So, try muna natin siyang i-apply sa lips ng gated effect. Kasi parang maganda siyang pang gated effect. Ang ganda ng shade, oh. Pwede pang everyday for all ages. ba bongga. There. So, this is how it looks like on a gated effect. Sobrang dali niyang apply, sweethearts. Tsaka, when you first apply it, para siya talagang glossy. Pero, ayan, unti-unti na siyang nag dry down to a matte finish. Tapos, hindi siya sticky at all. Yung scent pala niya, amoy, mabango siya yun. Hindi siya fruity. Parang more like sweet yung amoy niya. Parang siyang, para siyang candy. Mabango. Parang mas gusto ko siya ng ganito lang gradient. Kasi sobrang simple. ba Parang everyday look. Parang fresh lang. Ayan. Pero para na rin makita nyo, mag apply na rin ako ng full on para ma-compare nyo kung ano yung mas maganda. Sobrang dali lang niyang ilagay kasi very thin yung consistency tsaka para siya talagang glossy. 
alam nyo si Tarsin shade niya, iba siya pag in-apply, parang very light. Pero pag in-apply mo na siya ng full on sa lips, ayan, iba na yung shade niya. Parang mas maganda talagang popping pink yung shade na to. Hindi rin siya patchy tignan, tsaka hindi siya nag-set dun sa mga dry patches ng lips ko. Mm, in fairness, maganda talaga siya sweet hearts. Pero for me ha, mas okay yung gradient effect kanina. And then yung feeling niya sa lips, it's not drying. But it's not moisturizing either. Isa lang ang masasabi ko, the formula is so good. Okay na okay to sa akin. Sayang nga lang wala ako nung ibang shades kasi marami pang shades na available. They have the lightest to darkest shade available. Pero ito yung pinadala nila sa akin at pinili ko na shade. So ito na ating final look. For me, I really like the final look. Hindi ko inaasahan na ganito yung kalalabasan niya. Yung concealer talaga, sobrang nagustuhan ko siya. Tsaka gagamitin ko to at ulit-ulitin ko siya. Baka nga maubos ko rin to. Kasi first time ko na gumamit ng color corrector. And this one, it did not disappoint me. Kasi ang flawless nga niya sa skin. Hindi siya nag... Hindi siya cakey. Hindi siya sticky or tacky sa face. I love it. Tsaka... Ang ganda. It's full coverage. And then, pagdating naman dito sa eyeshadow, I like it as well. It's pigmented, but not too pigmented na isang swipe ay bonggang-bongga na you really have to work on it. Tapos yung shade niya is magagamit mo talaga kasi it's neutral to earth colors na magagamit mo from daytime to nighttime gala. Diba? Bongga siya. Tsaka yung size niya, girl, yun yung importante. Diba? Kasi ako, ayoko yung dadala ng sobrang laking palette na ang dami. Gusto ko yung dadalhin ko is yung gagamitin ko lang talaga. And this is the perfect palette for me. Unfortunately, itong concealer ni Chica Ichi ko, I don't know kung yung sa akin lang yung may problema or what happened to it. Pero parang nag-dry siya or natuyo kasi nung unang swipe ko, okay naman. Tapos pagtagal, nung tinatry ko na siya sa eyes ko, ayaw na talagang lumabas. Kahit ishake ko na siya, ishake ng mabuti. Parang alam niyo yung ballpen na nauubusan ng tinta. Parang ganun siya. Eh, ngayon ko pa lang naman siya magagamit. So, I don't know what's the problem with this. Na-disappoint ako. I don't know. Pero I think this one is 500 pesos. So, Ayun, depende sa inyo kung if you want to shop this eyeliner or if you want to try it. But for me, I think hindi ko na talaga siya magamit kasi nag dies down. Let me know kung ano yung solution na pwede ko pang gawin dito para magamit ko pa siya. And then this one, I really like it. Ito, With Me Signal Velvet Lip Master. I love the shade. I love the consistency. I love the texture. And yung formula sobrang thumbs up sa akin kasi lalo na nung kanina nung gradient effect siya. I think I just found my current favorite lip tint kasi ang ganda talaga niya. Tsaka hindi talaga siya sobrang stick sa feeling nung lips. Hindi siya yung parang alam mo yung may nakalagay ka na lipstick sa labi. This one, it's very light. I love the shade. I really like it. Bongga. Bongga to. So I think that's it. If you're interested to check these products that I showed you, lahat yan nasa description box below. Check nyo na lang yung aking carry store. If you are interested with these products, nandun lahat ng price, details, yung mga claims and all, nandun yun sa Carys app. Just download the app or sa website nila. I hope this helps and if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell below para lagi kang updated on my next upload. Thank you for watching, sweethearts. I hope to see you in the next one. Stay sweet, guys. Bye!